Welcome, my beautiful souls. Uh, today, we are going to do a Taurus reading. Um, Taurus, sun, moon, rising. Some of you uh, will be intuitively guided. I already know that. Uh, that's just your guides connecting you, like putting a reading before you. Um, you know, I feel like your guides will do whatever they need to do to get assigned to you. But anyway, so... Uh, some of you could be in love with the Taurus, platonically, romantically. Um, and same thing, if that's the case, know that your guides know you're here. So I'd say just be open. These are, the readings I've been doing lately are really, um, what I'm calling just special readings because I'm just allowing myself to, like, I'm, I'm going through, like, I don't know, it feels like mental clarity or like clearing out the cobweb. So what I'm doing is not pressuring myself to do like a reading has got to be done today. No, I'm just like sitting back for like a week, maybe two, and whatever comes to me, I'm letting come to me. So it's very clear to me, like by the time I'm done with someone's reading, I'm like, okay, I know why I was called to that sign. So, Taurus, it's you today. Um, and, you know, I just realized also we're going into the full moon um, in your sign. And, you know, the full moon, I feel like it's going to be very good for you. Um, I feel like it's, it's really going to help increase your creativity. Um, your inspiration and then your boldness, maybe to make something happen. You know, something happened. Uh, it's through these bold actions. But I feel first there's the clarity or the the creativity. Like something piques your interest. And you're just kind of following it. And it feels right. feels good. Um, you know, this is just going to be a period of time where it's just going to just ask you, you know, use your, you know, use what you know to create whatever it is you want to create it just feels like it's kind of opened for you you know whatever you want to do um this is also a good time for career moves you know if that's what you've been thinking um but this is also a great time for like side hustles and i feel like side hustles couldn't can you know it depends on each person of course like the energy put behind it but i feel like potentially could be like the main you know source like your baby your thing so great time to put energy around that right now but i feel like this is really about your spirit being uplifted so it feels like a good time when i say good time it, it does feel like a time maybe of hard work um you know no more than before, but I feel like, um, I don't know, there seems to be a lot, a lot, like the energy is different around it, or again, you're receiving these epiphanies, these ideas, and um, you're using them, and I feel you were meant to. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into the cards. Um, and again, I'm just calling this a special reading. I really feel like it's for anyone who just, you know, happens to come across it. I definitely trust our guides, you know, with putting a reading before someone who needs to hear it, even if they deny it at first, you know, something will make them come back. And I just kind of let go of that and I trust that. So um, I welcome you. I thank you. Because that means you paid attention to your intuition. Uh, so anyways, thank you. All right. We're going to use Mother Mary for her words of wisdom. We're going to use the Romance Angels if romance comes out. Um, and by the way, I have like, I'm not putting like any, what's the word I want to say? I'm just allowing this reading to be whatever it wants to be. Like, I'm not saying, okay, it must be for November or December or December. You know, it's just whatever it needs to be, I'm allowing it to be. Um, but I am using, like, a full set of cards also. 
And um, I feel like what that does is it gives us different layers to the reading, you know. All right, so we're going to use the major arcanas again. We'll use these for like bullet points. So I feel like Mother Mary is layer one. These are layer two. Your main spread, we're going to use the True of Dreams. So this will be like the entree. And then dessert, you know, or layer four will be um, the Gilded Trail. And we'll use this to, you know, clarify, go deeper. You know, I say the level four, but um, the Romance Angels really are, would be the last step to come out. So we'll call them dessert. All right. Well, let's start with Mother Mary. Let's go ahead and give it a shuffle or two. Interesting. You know, it's interesting because I was just thinking, like, my grandson is a Taurus. And I don't know why I don't say that when I do a Taurus reading. Because normally I say, you know, someone in my family. But, um, and I think it's because, you know, he's just, he's just, you know, one of those, those kids that would really have no interest in knowing any of this and maybe shouldn't even know you know like just go play type of energy but anyways it's interesting because I was just thinking of him and then my granddaughter her name is Faith and that comes up Faith I have faith in God to heal the situation I have faith in God to heal the situation Feels like there's people praying, you know, for like the same cause, but they're all like, you know, praying. Hmm. So faith, well, wow. healing, you know, if nothing else, it's definitely saying. God hears our prayers. Um, and there's a saying, I forget what it is, but when two or more <clears throat> pray together, there's a saying. Um, I hate when I can't think of the second part of it. Okay. I accept that. Some of you may just find yourself like in this almost like leadership role um, and you may not even have even asked for it. It's just like natural. I feel like if any of you are like, you know, like what, what I imagine in my mind is like, you know, like having a festival, like a music festival, let's say, and I'm someone who's in charge of getting the talent and um you know the lights and and the sound and all that coordinated well that sounds like a big job all of a sudden um though probably a great job at the same time but anyways i see and it's interesting because the way i just described it it, it sounds almost difficult um but i don't feel like this is difficult Maybe it feels like you're living a dream, you know, or this opportunity. Um, and listen, maybe you don't even know yet. Maybe it's still around the corner. All right. Mm 
Mm-hmm. I'm gonna keep it. All right, let's see what we have. We have the sun, beautiful. You know, anytime the sun shows in the reading, I feel like um, it, it is the potential of a good time. You know, more carefree, playful, uh, making sure, you know, that I'm leaving time for that. But nonetheless, it's the illuminator. You know, shadows can't hide. Sun is out. Just feels like, you know, one of those good days. There is a twin. Um, could be someone that you know. Well, it'd be someone just like you. Anyway, okay, well, let's keep going. We have the High Priestess, it's your intuition. And then, interesting, we have two Leo cards on the board. Strength. I don't know why I put the sun that way. You know, I feel like strength is about inner courage. It's, it can talk about something like, you know, that I control within myself. I have control over. Um, you know, the, she's wearing like the infinity sign right in her forehead. So to me, it's like a connection. It's good to talk about one's faith. It's like really, you know, and I'm not even speaking like that it has to be like religious. Um, some it is, you know what I mean? But I feel like, you know, <clears throat> trusting that. Mm, look at this. And then we have the full. And then we're off. We're on this new adventure. This is about a new beginning. I love that it's mirroring the sun. Hello. It tells me that there is something that maybe, I don't know, I feel like, you know, there's the ability to overcome something. Um, and, you know, I feel like your intuition is like b being illuminated. Um, but so is your faith. You know, maybe the combination of those two together it is what helps me overcome something. Not only you're overcoming, but then you're you're like on this next adventure. And, you know, the fool is carefree. So what the son asked for, the fool gives it. So the fool is about taking a leap of faith. Talk about like being wiser than you've ever been now. Maybe this is just the one thing that's also connected to the strength card here. But, you know, the thing about the strength card is I feel like the strength card is about self. So, you know, that means, you know, sometimes it might be hard to hear that it's like me. And, I, and it doesn't even mean that I'm the problem, but it, there's something within myself. Um, I feel like it's just like learning about oneself, knowing oneself, you know, the good and the bad, you know, the loving and the not so loving. And we all have those sides. You know, we all have them. Um, but, you know, to me, the strength card is ultimately like, finding courage so maybe it is like finding this courage to uh, to you know jump into the fool's energy remember the fool just extracts the wisdom of the past and lets go of the rest 
I have a feeling it's going to be funny, like when we do crossover, that the things that we thought were so important. And, you know, this is something I'm learning as I purge in my life, like, you know, material things. You know, it's interesting. It's like I'm really down to only what I like purchased since I moved into Sam's house, which is like for my office. Uh, you know what I mean? But I don't know. Like, I don't have a problem with that any longer. And I've been doing it all my life. Interesting. I don't know why I'm talking about me. All right, let's slide these up here. And let's see where the fold's going. Look at that. The Ace of Pentacles didn't want to come up. Um, I'm not going to put it on the table yet, but I feel like, you know, wants to be recognized. So Ace of Pentacles, you know, I mean, it's a perfect energy with the fold because it, like, gives you, the, it gives you the way. It just talks about, you know, something that comes into your physical world that's meant to help you enhance, you know, this journey. But we'll see. Though I do feel like, you know, it's interesting because I'm thinking all of a sudden, like in my mind, I see like a seed that's planted like in the dirt, right? But the sun is out. So the sun is, you know, giving the dirt the nutrients or what have you that ultimately feeds that seed and helps that seed grow. Um, you know, but maybe maybe some things like that ace of pentacles felt like that seed that though we don't see it it doesn't mean it's not there right and the sun is the perfect energy um so i don't know all right To be a little bit of what faith is talking about also it's like we see the ace of pentacles right but maybe it just wasn't like the right time you know i feel like in a full moon, you want to be open, like open to the possibilities and maybe not even putting like titles to like, you know, the, what the possibilities are, just where I'm happy, you know, I'm laughing, listening to music. I imagine the windows being open, um, you know, filled with light and you got music playing and Maybe you're cleaning, but it's like, it just feels joyful. <clears throat> you know, I'm probably singing along to the music. Feels like it's my music. Look what just came out. Look what just came out. Hello, Ace of Pentacles. Wow. First of all, let me bring this lid down. I mean, this is why I love Tarot. All right, so it's like the seed has sprouted. The seed is now turning to bloom. ripe to pick you know and what's ever in the strength card I feel like you're finding a way to let it go whatever it may be and it's probably different things for different people um 
you know, but you're, you know, you're really trusting. I feel like, first of all, your, your intuition is being illuminated. So, you know, even if I was in denial, it would hard, be hard, you know, the sun can work both ways, um, can certainly help illuminate your path, and it certainly is doing that. Um, but it can also illuminate, you know, those things that might hold us back, <clears throat> excuse me, that might hold us back. Um, you know, sometimes we don't have any control over them, but I feel like because the strength card is here, it, it is saying you do have control over that. And remember, eights really stand for new beginnings. But also infinity. You know, that to me there is like, that means there's nothing you cannot overcome. And there's nothing you cannot do. All right, well, well, I feel like here we go. Wow, we have a mixture of up and down or upright and reversed. All right, we have the Six of Swords. Six of Swords, you know, that's great energy because it means you're taking this ace, which really is, you know, if nothing else, it's the beginning of a new idea. Um, but it's something that I feel like it would probably multiply very quickly, like be successful, let's say. Um, but I feel like the Six of Swords has given us a clue, you know, where or what the fight or the strength card was about. And it usually talks about toxicity. You know, whether it be other people or it can even be my own thoughts. So, you know, because it may be that simple sometimes, like a change of thought from I can't to yes, I can. All right. Well, hello, Knight of Pentacles. Beautiful. It's almost like this knight is saying, I'll meet you along the journey. Definitely recognition of what you've overcome. You know, I feel like the Knight of Pentacles is guardian angel energy. Um, it's weird. I want to say, like, like, in a way, we honor this knight, but I, I don't know why. I've never said that. Knight of Pentacles, um, you know, it does teach us about patience. This knight, well, here is the ace, right, that it promises to bring in, but in the right time, when the timing is right. You may, maybe, you know, as you're overcoming. And, you know, in the Six of Swords, I do feel like temporarily it can feel difficult. But again, it feels like your your intuition is like your North Star, your guiding light. And look who's there to meet you. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Interesting. Some of you may be walking away from a job. Some of you, maybe it did happen. You know what I mean? But maybe you do find yourself on this new path. And uh, maybe it was just meant to be. We have the three of wands. Hmm. It's like turn that frown upside down. Normally the energy of optimism. Interesting, these are all face down. We have the magician. Something about not believing in yourself. 
We have the Queen of Pentacles. And, but we do have the Hangman in the Awakened State. So even though we have all these reversals, interesting. And a lot of them I feel like have to do with you, you know, believing in you. Um, because I feel like, you know, the energy that's in the upright is so strong. You know, here's this Knight of Pentacles, your guardian angel. Um, I'm going to bring this pentacle in, you know, and this pentacle has roots. It can truly take root, you know, grow it. I feel like it'll multiply. But I do feel like it's in the right time. And I feel that being the fool is the right time. You know, whatever happened through the strength cards energy, there may be some energy that I just had no control over. And maybe I realized that I just had to let it go. Let it be. Get back to me. Um, because I do feel like, you know, there's been a lot of doubt. A lot of doubt. But I feel like it's you doubting you. It's interesting because even this, I feel like, is a is like a spiritual lesson. Hmm. You know, I feel like there's a lesson in everything. And I feel like that just means growth. There's an opportunity to grow. So even here, even where there's a lot of doubt, but also, again, a lot of ways in the right time. And just because I say yes doesn't have to mean that I 100% I know where I'm going. You know what I mean? Like trust within, you know, I feel like just your life, you know, you'll use it, you'll use different parts of your life right when you're meant to, you know? And, you know, like I've learned through Tarot, it's like, oh, I get why I went through this or that now. You know what I mean? I get it now. So I do feel like the hangman is you absorbing this information. Queen of Pentacles, I normally call my psychic detective. But she's kind of in reverse. Could be very resistant. Mm. You know, let's say nothing changes. Like, let's say I'm in this energy of, like, self-doubt, being resistant. I feel that. Um, but opportunity still shows. But I say no. Then I feel like, well, then that's how your future will look. You know what I mean? Hmm. I don't know if that makes sense. We have the chariot on the bottom of the deck. Beautiful. Tell me what you've been finding is balance. You know, more balance within than anything. And I feel like once you find balance within, it's almost impossible not to then look at what's around you, you know people, situations, you know, self. I feel like some of you could just let go. I would say it, like, if you could, and I get it, I'm an earth sign. Um... I feel like you have the ability to really connect. 
you know, I feel like you have the ability for your intuition to really be like on fire, but not just for you. I, I feel like some of you, it's because it, it may be like what you're doing. You know what I mean? It's the way the world needs you. Interesting. Well, a lot of cards there. Okay. Looks like we're getting everything at once. Even though they came in, in two separate um, piles. So let's keep that in mind because it could be two different perspectives. So we'll look at that. So we have the Knight of Swords over the Ace of Pentacles. Could be some type of communication. Could be hearing about something. Some, you know, and again, I feel like it's something that gives you opportunity in one way or another. You know, because it's you holding this ace. It's you saying yes to the fool's energy. And I feel like this is how it's coming in. Look at this. We have nine of cups. Love that. Inner harmony. This is where you're heading towards. This is why the strength card was so important here. Because it truly is as you overcome and you like extract that wisdom. You know you deserve to live a happy life. And I feel like this is you now maybe seeking it. This is really inner harmony. And that's nice. It's also about fulfillment of wishes. You know, it's coming over an action you're taking, which is the Six of Swords. So it's, first of all, the realization of what or who is toxic, even myself, my own thoughts. Um, can be certainly singular energy. Okay, well, let's keep going. Hmm. We have the chariot in reverse. We have the six of cups in reverse. Interesting. And then we have the emperor in reverse. Wow. You know, it's like this Knight of Pentacles is saying, I'm not coming in until you yourself find balance, however long that may take, right? This, this Knight is very patient, like, I don't come in until it's the right time, period. And, you know, if you think about the chariot, really, the chariot is driven by your intentions. And that's why it becomes unlim unlimited potential. You know, your dreams, your wishes, and you planting those seeds. And then them coming true. Some people wonder, like, why can't I have a life like this or that? You pro you may not be planting those seeds. Or maybe you are, and then the seeds come, and then you're talking yourself out of it. I don't know. I feel like the Knight of Pentacles is also saying, almost like, until you find this this inner harmony within yourself, it's almost like I, in a way, hold things back. Hmm. All right, let's keep going. Look at this. Five of Swords. There's that toxicity, and it's in reverse. It's so over the Magician in reverse. We have the Hermit in reverse. 
heart of Virgo. Cancer above it. Leo above it. We have the Ace of Swords. What's going on here? We have the Knight of Wands. And look at this. We have the Fool again. Wow. I need a drink. Let me grab a drink real quick. Okay, this is interesting because I don't know if I've ever done a reading where there's so many reversals and I don't always take reversals. Um, you know, and sometimes I wonder, like, is it me? But because some are upright and I really do go through my decks and make sure they're all in the upright. So when I see them come out that way, then I can't help it think, okay, maybe they're meant to. You know what I feel like lies around the corner that you may not even be considering? Could be a love. And in a way, do I feel like the universe is holding it back? I do. Because I feel like what you're going through and what you're learning is more important. You know, like you need to fill your soul. Your soul needs to be full. And I feel like that's exactly what you're doing. Um, and it doesn't matter how long it took you to, to reach that state or to begin. You know what I mean? I feel like you guys have the ability to create a business for yourself that would be extremely, extremely successful. But I feel like your intentions towards it are everything. So if I believe that I can, it's almost like I'm thinking filled of dreams. If I build it, they will come. That's what I feel like. And maybe the toxic part was some of your own thoughts, but also other people who, for some reason, you know, came between you and your potential. Some of it, it it's all about learning. You know what I mean? Because I kind of feel like love is around the corner. Yet, I feel like, um, this is about you. This is about you. And you know what? It's almost like two souls independently are being tested. And when I say tested, I mean like, are they ready? Are they ready? And I feel like it's like independently. You know, like, let's say certain issues come up, certain, you know, like, let's see how they handle it, if they can get through that, and if they're really ready for this, you know. But I feel like the need to, again, like, you know, find, first of all, inner harmony yourself. And that does mean the toxicity has to go. I feel like there's no way around that. And I feel like you're willing to do that. You know, I feel like allow yourselves to be who you really are. Because some of you, I feel like it's about this, like, I feel spiritual awareness, you know, that you have, that you can feel. Um, 
you know, it's almost like, you know, it's going to happen before other people know it's going to happen. You know, um, some of you see it, some of you just feel it, you know, or you feel something good's going to happen or you feel something bad's going to happen. And then it does. And some of you, I feel like you've just been in this cycle of, you know, things like, like trudging through the mud. However, again, if, if I, if I really reflect back, I can really see how I myself have grown, you know, and am telling myself now that I really can be whatever it is I want to be. It may not be exactly right. It may not look exactly as I picture in my mind. And I feel like that's part of like, don't be resistant to that. Like, don't be re like, be open. But here's this full. And here's this Knight of Wands, which means it's coming in. This full is coming in. So I feel like for some of you, this is someone who is around the corner. You know, okay, I'm not going to keep repeating myself because I feel like I'm just going to annoy some of you. Um, but I but I want you just to understand the importance of this reading saying to trust within you, whatever it may be, whatever it is, you know, whatever direction you want to go is fine. It's not that you have to go a certain way, you know, but it's like you have the sun. And I feel like you haven't had it for a while. It's going to illuminate the good. It's going to illuminate the hard. The hard is so that I can see it, be aware of it, decide what I want to do with it. You know what I mean? At least know it. Like, I could see some of you being, like, future speaker, speakers. You know? Um... And it does feel like a lot of it stems from your wisdom. <clears throat> All right, let's bring in the romance angels. And I just feel like this night, night of wands. You know, first of all, it's like your guardian angels is by, let's say... I don't think blocking is the right word, but not helping things. Um, I feel like because it just wasn't the right time. So where you may feel like, dang it, what was me? And I get it. Your guys are like, but you want you, you will understand. And you will. Well, a new past life relationship took like a second to come out. You have known each other before. You know, that's that instant recognition. Um, why can I say that word? No dependency. Mm. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. That could tie back to the eight of cup or the eight of the strength card. So 
certainly be why so much is in reverse. Look at this. New love. New love. And then getting to know each other. So, new love. A new, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings right over the fall. It's a past life. Even though it's a new love, it is of a past life. And to me, that means, again, rec you know, recognizing each other and not even knowing why. Could be very similar experiences. Getting to know each other as you reveal your inner selves, your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Some could be coming single. And I often feel like in this energy, like I'm a package deal. And I don't feel like that's a problem. I feel like someone's kind of charming. Um, I feel like it's just what you need. Like, it's just what you need. It's the kind of energy that you, that your soul feel like, feels like it needs. And, you know, it's all wrapped around the new beginning of that strength card. I feel like that's when the Knight of Pentacles releases, you know, the energy of like whatever held me. And allows energy to flow again. You know, and it's definitely, you know, looking right back at the, first of all, Six of Swords, so actions that you took, like, being recognized over that, like, that's, you know, like, good. And it's showing the Five of Cup or the Five of Swords right below, in reverse. So, clearly, a lot of you are having this recognition. And you are, like, saying no more. And you're jumping in the boat. And, again, temporarily, it can feel like any change. Temporarily, can feel difficult. But then, how beautiful the Nine of Cups comes out. You know? And maybe something didn't work out. But maybe, just maybe... There's something better. Be very honest with yourself, I feel like, and, you know, I feel like you have to be willing to make whatever changes are necessary. And when you do so, You know, because I get this feeling like I'm living in a house and I feel like it's like nobody talks to each other, right? We just live in the same house, but there's no joy, you know? It's just the same. Excuse me one second. All right, sorry about that. I was gone for a second. Um, you know, so I'm just kind of like looking down at your reading and I'm seeing so many like opportunities. Um, and I feel like different things for different people and they're coming like in different ways. But I feel like, I feel like ultimately it feels life changing. Though it may start like at the beginning of something, but I feel like there is a lot of doubt. And um, I feel like this is really what your reading is about. It's like getting you to this, like this a place of inner harmony. And I feel like that's what opens the door to everything. So, new love. But you have known each other before. 
getting to know each other. I feel like those are those long, like I see you sitting on a porch swinging conversation. Um, you know, some of you are like coming home from a date and you're like sitting on the porch steps and you're just talking. I feel like it just goes on and on and on. It just feels so natural. I feel like this codependency, it's freeing yourself from something or someone, or even both. And I feel like, um, don't be afraid of going something, like going at something alone. Because I feel like the growth, the movement, it just is kind of beautiful what follows. But it's interesting how it's like so much is in reverse. Yet the hangman is in the awakened state. It does feel like if I look at this, like, with one perspective, it looks like it is the opportunity to, like, really clean up my life, um, learn some valuable lessons, trust my own wisdom, you know, trust my own intuition, follow my own path. Don't be afraid of following your own path. I feel like on your own path is where all your soulmate family lies. And you have one in particular down here. It's like this hangman knows it. The human beings just don't know it yet. You do have the Six of Cups. Which is, you know, potentially cherished memories of someone. It's in reverse, though. But it could also tie back to past life lovers. So, I don't know. I think, I think I'm going to let that be. Um... I'm just, yeah, I think I'm just going to let that be. I thank you guys. I love you guys. You know, I feel like your reading is really about some important messages that I feel like your guides really want you to hear. And I feel like from that point on, like you have a lot of say so in like what your world's going to look like. You know what I mean? Um, but it is through your own actions and your beliefs and trust in yourself and trust within your intuition and know that, like, your guides are right there with you. You know, thick or thin. So anyway, anyway, I knew there was something behind the corner. I just knew it. But it feels it's more than just love, though. This is love. It's really you finding like this freedom within yourself first and foremost. And it, right away, I feel like, you know, that you want to talk about one's vibration lifting. Well, hello. All right. Well, here I am still talking. Anyway. Thank you, guys. I love you. Um, can't wait to read your comments. I do feel like there's a lot of different stories within here. Of course, it could all be one big, long story for some, but I do feel like there's different stories. But I feel like the message, like the messages, feel like they're for the collective. Like everyone is here, you know, and I like I, I hear them. You know what I mean? Like, I hear them. 
So, anyway, we're going to let that be. I love you guys. Thank you. We'll see you next time at our table. Bye-bye.